take your title from boring to outstanding by creating a broken word anchor. This video is being filmed in expert mode of Photoshop Elements, but the instructions are exactly the same for Adobe Photoshop except where noted. Open the template DST Word Anchor Digital Scrapper PSD file from the downloads. In the menu bar, choose File, Duplicate to create a copy. Photoshop users choose Image Duplicate. In the dialog box, click OK and then close the original file. First, let's customize the title. In the Layers panel, double-click on the thumbnail of the type layer to highlight the type. In the Tool Options, open the Font Picker and choose a font. I'm using Impact Regular. The best font choices for this broken word anchor include bold serif or sans serif fonts, Poor font choices are thin or script fonts. Words in all uppercase will work better than words with a mixture of upper and lower case. Type your title word. I'm using hello in all capital letters. Next, we'll set the size to a number so the title word does not extend past the edges of the gray paper clipping mask. I can see my title is too large so I need to adjust the size of this type. Before I change the size, I need to select the type again. So I'm going to double click on the thumbnail of the type layer to highlight my title word. Now I can change my size to 250. You may want to adjust the size of the font for different words. These examples should help you find just the right font size for your title word. The word should fit between the left and right sides of the paper clipping mask with just a little bit of a gap. Now let's take a look at the placement of the title word on the page. The top edge of the word should not be too close to the bottom edge of the photo clipping mask. The first example shows a title that's too close to the photo clipping mask. The title is too far away in the second example, and the placement of the title in the last example is perfect. So if you need to move your title word, hold down the control key, command key on a Mac, click and drag inside the bounding box to reposition your word. Click the check mark to commit the type. Now let's create a cutout around our title. In the Layers panel, hold down the control key, command key on a Mac, and click on the thumbnail of the type layer to get a selection outline. In the menu bar, choose Select, Modify, Expand. In the dialog box, set Expand By to a number so the selection doesn't dip too much between the letters. I'm setting my Expand By to 90 pixels. And then click OK to close the dialog box. The selection is not expanded enough in the first example. The selection dips quite a bit between some of the letters. The second example shows a perfectly expanded selection. The selection dips only slightly between some of the letters. You may want to adjust the expand by amount for different words. To redo expanding the selection, press Ctrl Z, Command Z on a Mac to undo the last step and then try again. In the Layers panel, click on the paper clipping mask to make it the active layer. In the Layers panel, hold down the Alt key, Option key on a Mac, and click on the Add Layer Mask icon. Adding the Alt or Option key will mask the selected pixels instead of the unselected pixels. Save the document as a layered PSD file with a unique name, and then finish the page as desired. Here's the page I made. I love how the Broken Word Anchor emphasizes the title of my page. For a free PDF version of this video, click on the download link, and then make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This has been Julie Cinco from Digital Scrapper, the very best place on the web to find complete and professional instruction for digital scrapbooking. We help you get your stories told.